So good morning. Just uh, just for information, uh, who was at the party yesterday? Uh, anybody? No, because uh, after party and after coffee break, it's uh, pretty hard uh, to to present. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, omnichannel customer experience in banking because I'm a banker. Uh, my uh, position is product owner of uh, Squad Digital Acquisition and Engagement. So I am responsible for digital marketing and digital data, uh, mainly for sales, but uh, also for customer experience and digital channels. And uh, probably uh, you don't know uh, Česká spořitelna. It's uh, the traditional Czech bank, uh, almost uh, 200 years old. The the bank with longest tradition in Czech Republic, and as well the biggest bank in Czech Republic. Uh, we have uh, uh, around uh, four and a half uh, million customers. Uh, we are as well uh, one of the biggest uh, employer in Czech, uh, in Czech Republic, and uh, from uh, year 2000, a part of Erste Group, as you can see at the image. Uh, right now, we are undergoing uh, agile transformation, so it's, uh, it's a pretty fun uh, period in my life. And uh, our mission uh, of Česká spořitelna is uh, uh, leading our clients to prosperity and uh, our stakeholders as well. You know. And uh, because bankers are boring, uh, I'm not alone here. And there is... Okay, uh, welcome again. Thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Jakub Štěch and I'm data science architect at Data Centix. Uh, I will talk about Data Centix uh, in a while, but uh, more important is that I'm data science architect in the data team in Česká spořitelna, which is basically the team who is responsible for sharing and using the digital data across the whole company. The main responsibilities are pretty easy, I would say. That is the brilliant ideas from Peter translated into some data science production data science, pro, uh, data science uh, problems, and therefore personalizing the user experience using machine learning, data science, data, and so on. And of course, we are building and employing the cloud platform with, where we store all of the data, the digital data about uh, the customer, and we will talk about it. And one slide about data centrics. Uh, we are basically machine learning and cloud data engineering boutique. That means that we are a bunch of like 50 data specialists, data engineers and data scientists. And we are helping our clients like Česká spořitelna undergo the digital transformation and to use the data and really bring life uh, to life the transparent production level data science solutions. And of course, we are partner of Databricks and Microsoft to be able to scale our solutions and so on. So I'm not sure about a brilliant uh, task from uh, my side because uh, I'm not a data engineer. I'm uh, just a, a businessman. And uh, I love uh, business impacts and I love numbers. So I prepared uh, with, uh, with Jakub uh, two case studies. The first one is about uh, digital, digital marketing spend optimization. It's something uh, you know pretty well. If your boss asks you if you uh, spent your money properly and you have to find uh, some savings or some uh, reallocations of your, uh, of your budget. Uh, and if I forget uh, all complexity of bank like uh, Česká spořitelna or dependencies and overlays, uh, this is my playground. I am responsible for digital advertisement. I am responsible for web platforms, uh, around uh, 50 websites, uh, web portals, uh, partly for uh, mobile banking and internet banking, and for uh, other sites uh, like uh, online partners from uh, realities, uh, from uh, 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 comparator of uh, low ends, and uh, for uh, telco companies uh, which are sharing uh, data and uh, my objective is uh, brand awareness sales of course but uh, customer experience as well like loyalty and uh, the business challenge is uh, pretty easy how to improve digital marketing spend uh, to be effect more effective and because we are 
digital marketing. Uh, we have ma uh, numbers. Uh, we have uh, metrics for ton of metrics for every channel. Uh, we are uh, measuring uh, ROI, uh, cost turnover ratio. We are pretty effective, of course. But uh, if you gonna talk about attribution, uh, despite all uh, econometric studies, despite all, all discussions, uh, not so sure. But it's a long-term uh, discussion, maybe more philosophical in bank with our uh, partners in offline marketing, with our uh, board members, uh, etc. So we have to find some uh, brief solution for uh, savings or reinvestments of our money. And uh, where, uh, where to start? Uh, maybe uh, at first with uh, advertisement, because uh, uh, we spend a lot of money uh, at Google, Facebook, uh, or other parties. And uh, maybe there is a platform we have not, uh, to be sure, is uh, working for us. Uh, it's uh, it's at form. Uh, it's platform uh, for programmatic buying, and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty smart. But uh, have a look uh, what can do. The the most easiest question is: uh, Do you want to pay for this banner the same money like for this banner? Like this? Maybe not. Uh, this situation is not uh, not so uh, bad because we have uh, some standards and we are buying uh, something like uh, visible impressions and visible impressions as you can read it's uh, standard measured uh, viability defined by uh, IAB and it uh, it is uh, if you see 50% uh, of banner on your screen for one second yeah for one second uh, have you ever uh, see a banner for one second is it enough I'm not sure, and I ask uh, Jakub to help me with that. Okay. Thank you, Peter. So, sorry about the numbers and the data here. And yeah, the I think it's pretty unique that Atform is very transparent f to us, and he's showing us that really every uh, every impression of the banner and 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 the uh, display of the advertisement and it's about when and who and all of these uh, all of these information really about every single impressions so it's pretty unique here and not all uh, not only these but we, we have more metrics here that means uh, how much uh, how much time did the customer or the user uh, see the, the the banner and uh, it, did he interact with it, and so on. So this is pretty easy to translate uh, these data and these metrics into some <coughs> scoring of every domain. Because you know, every domain, we have like uh, 5,000 in the whitelist of Česká spořitelna, and every domain can be rated based of, uh, on these metrics. The first metric is the Really, Atform is transparent here, and he says, okay, some of the impressions are made by robots. So this is the f the first score. But, okay, uh, Atform is transparent, but we would like to go beyond that, and it's about that when a user clicks on the banner like 50 times per minute, that is something uh, very smelly here. So that's a, another metric we can rate. Of course, multiple impressions, that doesn't make sense to have five banners on one, one website. It's, uh, I want to have one visible, really visible banner. Of course, the click-through ratio, uh, if the banner is somewhere that nobody can even click on it, so that's something we want uh, to do, uh, have it. And of course, these two. Uh, most important metrics about the visibility time and visibility percentage. So we can combine it and I would say it's not about that. I, I would say that uh, some blacklist uh, few domains, but it's about to make these bits. So it's saying how much money I am willing to pay for these, uh, for these domains. So I know that here, some Czech, Czech websites, Novinky says that uh, it's better than Idnes. So uh, I won't omit Idnes 
but I would say, okay, I'm willing to pay, I'm willing to bid uh, these uh, more. And this is pretty easy task for us, but there is a catch. You know, uh, we have millions and billions of impressions every month and every year. So it's, I think when, if Peter uh, two years ago would go to uh, the DVH uh, in, uh, in Česka, they would be, okay, you are crazy. These are some nested JSONs and so on. We wouldn't like to store that. But yeah, we are building the cloud platform using Databricks and using uh, Microsoft Azure. So we have all of these, all of these tools. So then every day we can, it goes like that. So we can every day, we just download the data from Atform, through it uh, into the data lake and we continue into the pi pipeline. So first of all, we score the domains and we store, of course, uh, because the storage is uh, very cheap today. We make these bits and every day it goes back to Atform and we can optimize towards the goal of Peter. So, and there's a result. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we have just uh, impressions and costs. And uh, it seems uh, that not every placement, uh, it's uh, in same value. Uh, and we are not targeting on placements, we are targeting on, on users, or at least on cookies. So how to do that? Uh, we had just a list of 5,000 uh, domains uh, because of uh, our brand uh, safety, because we don't want to spend money and uh, help to, uh, to websites with pornography or alcohol or fake news. But uh, there are some uh, biggest uh, portals in Czech Republic, newspapers, and uh, it's a question, uh, who's cheating there? Uh, is there a robot, scrollers? It's, uh, it's the publisher who wants to multiply impressions and more money. So this is the answer for that. And the results are pretty impressive because we wanted to uh, increase the visibility, uh, visibility time uh, of our uh, display banners. And uh, we as well increased uh, the percentage of, of, uh, of the space of banners. And on the opposite, we decreased the cost per uh, mile, uh, miles, uh, what we pay for uh, 1,000 of impressions. So we have uh, the increasing in efficiency, 23% on desktop and 28 on mobile. And uh, as I said, we decreased uh, the CPM. Uh, it means for us, uh, uh, in just uh, one pilot campaign uh, for Lowens uh, by uh, 400,000 uh, euro. Uh, we can free, we can have free for reallocation. And if we uh, uh, roll out uh, this pilot for all our display campaigns, you know, it means this reallocations. That's uh, pretty impressive. And it is just a silly, silly case, but uh, for me, uh, the numbers are impressive and very important to, to reallocate the money and talk uh, with my partners uh, in uh, other channels. So, where is the omnichannel? If we are talking about uh, omnichannel experience, uh, as I said, our mission as Chess Casper Online is leading every client to prosperity. Uh, what does it mean for me? For me, uh, it means uh, data driven advisory based on clients' needs and real-time situations because uh, that's uh, how we can communicate with them. Uh, it's not about uh, uh, look just uh, for uh, their uh, bank accounts and, uh, and low ends uh, and mortgages. Uh, it's about their life and uh, uh, how can we do it? But, uh, because we are talking about customer centricity, uh, but uh, the majority of uh, our purchases or, or sales, uh, it's in branches and offline, but uh, we have limited number of interactions with uh, our clients offline. But uh, it's not so easy to be customer centric. But I am from digital marketing and I see all these impressions, uh, so billions of impressions and uh, all the information behind them. And uh, only in mobile, uh, as uh, some studies said we have uh, much more interactions than ever and how to do that. But there is a typical problem. 
uh, in, uh, in banking, it's offline versus online. You have uh, offline CRM system uh, with uh, statistical or demographic or static uh, uh, transactional data, uh, which are well structured, easy to process, uh, but uh, very limited. And uh, we have a digital data that's a real digital footprint. And how we use the, this uh, digital footprint to help them. Uh, this is uh, uh, the view uh, on channels. There you see uh, my world and the classical CRM world with all data from branches, transactions, email, SMS, call centers. It could be there as well, ATMs. And uh, my world. Uh, with all these uh, numbers of data, not even from Česká uh, spořitelná, but uh, as well from our third party uh, partners. And there is a big limit. Uh, you are missing the connections between customers and uh, behavior of users. And we have to improve that. And you can't do that in scale because you are in on-prem world. And it should be something like that. Uh, pretty connected uh, world because there is just one customer. He is not online or offline. This is one person. And we have to know his uh, behavior if he needs before he uh, came to a branch. Uh, it's crucial to see uh, his passive stage and trigger to active stage, uh, which ends with sale. Okay, so then when we have this this platform, so then the race began. So we have a bunch of customers here, and the question is, yeah, what product I would like to offer? And this is the thing that they are doing in CRM, in digital, and so on, but it should be combined, and should be like omni-channel experience. So what we can do here? So, okay, we say, what product, the model takes some probability for every product and we say, okay, we are lucky for the bank because we took the loan and, but with, with what message, yeah? Because it's not about that I would say this, this customer has probability 90% that he would take the loan, but it's better to have the, really the, the experience, the message I would uh, say to him and I can talk about uh, the things he likes. So we can take loan on uh, to, to buy car and, and so on. So how to really dig in the data and get this, me get this message. So we are lucky, we have these impressions and all of this information stored uh, in our data lake. And okay, so then we have all of this data. Uh, I would like to really uh, connect all of these customers towards the, the products and towards the message. So I think like in the ancient times, like one year ago, somebody clever would say, okay, these are the words that are linked to cars. These are the words that are linked to kitchens and so on. But yeah, we have machine learning. We have some clever machines that can do this, all of these tasks for us. So I just give the machine, okay, this is the, this is the data, this is the information. And I have the targets, this is the, the loans. And he would really connect and link all of these words uh, for the message. So then we can really <coughs> automatically generate these call scripts or some notifications and so on for the uh, for the bank, and we really can personalize the message and the, and the product. So how to do that in the technical way? So we have these text representations. This is the the words we have. What we want to do with it? We have to translate it into some num numerical representations. So machine learning library of Spark is offering us some ways, some very clever ways to do that. I can just take one hot encoding. That means I, I say if the word is uh, present in the path or not. Or I can do some more clever way. That means uh, TFIDF, that's really like scaled term frequency uh, of, the, uh, of the words in the paths. 
or just more and more clever things like word embeddings and so on. The the thing with word embeddings here it's 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 pretty uh, pretty hard task here because the URLs are not really a context of some document. So that's uh, some really interesting topic we are currently exploring. So we have this numeric representation and we have really, uh, really easy classification models uh, that say, okay, zero for did the customer uh, take the loan or not, and uh, one if uh, he took it. So uh, we have here some standard, uh, we use uh, linear uh, regressions as benchmark and uh, in production then more sophisticated models, gradient boosting trees. Uh, that means uh, we use it as a benchmark because it's really then we want to say why the model said he has the probability and so on. And all of this stuff we use really now implemented in Spark MLLib so uh, we don't uh, want to invent the wheel. Okay, so then uh, I would like to personalize the message so I can really uh, dig in the model and the model says, okay, uh, here are the words with the predictive power. That means uh, this customer uh, was on the website with wedding and so on. So again, the automated pipeline is the technical way that uh, we have uh, the data sources there. Now it's uh, a little bit more interesting that again there is the storing in the data lake. Yeah? We would like to store everything because the storage is cheap. Uh, there is the uh, scoring of the new uh, new data uh, once a month or something like that. We have to retrain our models because yeah the the advertisement is dynamic and so on. So we would like to adapt to the uh, to the world, and we just. Uh, give the uh, results or the audiences back to the, it can be the online world, so it could be at form, website, we can personalize the message on the website, or just uh, CRM, all the call centers and so on. So uh, I think that's the most technical uh, slide here. Uh, so, but uh, just to orient here, the data lake, that's the yeah, as I said, that's the most important thing. Store everything. You you never know when you use the data, and of course, uh, data employing that data breaks as ex extractor of the data, um, as the uh, for the machine learning and so on. And then some of these uh, automa automatization things and orchestration things like data factory in Azure Cloud. Okay, Peter. And uh, Jakub was talking about uh, about loans, but uh, we decided to uh, to uh, start a pilot in in mortgages because there we have uh, biggest uh, uh, business trouble because of new regulations on the market, and we have to be much more effective. So uh, we have uh, like a benchmark uh, the best. Uh, uh, sales signals uh, of CRM uh, for call centers, which has a uh, 10% uh, success rate, and we increase it uh, by digital data enhancing by 50%. And uh, it is the uh, best uh, uh, sales signal uh, we ever have for, for mortgages in history of bank. So uh, it's as well impressive like the uh, case study before that. And uh, there are some uh, takeaways. Uh, if you want to start, you don't need uh, any extra tech uh, uh, solutions, just uh, extend platforms with AI models, like in our first case study. Uh, you have to connect the data on individual customer level, uh, because it is crucial. It's, uh, for us, uh, we are talking uh, about customer journeys, but uh, customer journey uh, in head of uh, from some product manager of Lowens is uh, just process. And uh, it's not customer journey. Customer uh, journey is uh, our customer's life. Uh, maybe we can say it's like a movie. We want to see a uh, live movie of our, our customers. It's sometimes uh, it's uh, black and color. Sometimes it has uh, missing frames. And uh, sometimes it's in HD. And we want all customers uh, to have in HD. And, uh, the data from digital channels uh, are the missing frames or color. 
And uh, as well, if you want to be successful with uh, these projects, you have to uh, need clear business specifications. It's uh, very important for to your partners, uh, uh, in this case uh, from data centics. And convincing uh, results, it's uh, even better important for me. So, thank you. Thank you very much. I think we have some minutes left for Q&A, so if you guys have some questions. Hopefully for Peter. <laughs> Thank you for a very nice presentation, very detailed. So in your architecture slide, you had like uh, one way of uh, you know scoring the model and one, one slide, if you can please uh, go back. You talk, yeah, no, the next one please. So the manual feed from Azure Data Lake down below, it's a internal ETL. So is that, uh, was something like, was done uh, scoring that over there, was it done in kind of real time or was that like in a batch mode? Uh, we are currently working in batch mode. Batch mode. Yeah, no re real time things. Because you know, it's, it's uh, something like sandbox now for Chiska, which are really experimenting with, with this platform. And yeah, we are heading toward it. Now we are, Really, we made some POCs and it, it went well. So now the bank wants, okay, that's the platform, we want it. And now, yeah, we are, we are building the really, the really production level uh, of the connection of the online and, on, and offline. Now it's some like semi-automatic way. Okay, and uh, have you used any structured streaming anywhere? Um, uh, in this project, not. Yeah. But in data centrics, of course, yes. So then we can talk about it later. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. So question for Peter. Thanks for the presentation. Um, I was wondering, are you able to bridge identities between your CRM data and the ad form IDs? Yeah, we are. Um, that's the really nice thing that when you uh, really the, the, the bridge is the internet banking. So when you are going through the websites and uh, through the internet, and then you log into uh, the internet banking, then we can link you uh, with your CRM data. But it's, it's, it's uh, not uh, completely uh, solved. It's uh, now we have data or the connections when you log in the desktop application. We don't have the, uh, the, the from the apps, yeah. But we are working on that because we have some analytics uh uh, Firebase is the same like analytics on website, uh, Google Analytics, and it's the same ID. Uh, just from your gut, do you have an idea on how accurate that is? Uh, so uh, it's 100% it's, it's accurate. We know w when we link it, we know it for sure. Yeah. But the, the thing is we have like, I don't know, 40% uh, or 60% of, of customers linked. Yeah. D there are like 30 or 50 percent of people that never looked uh, in, 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 not in history, but in our cloud history. So that's the thing. But you know, the, the nice thing is that we, when we, we can learn from these people, we have these paths for the linked people, and we can really apply it on, on new, completely new users on the internet. Yeah, you know the paths, you know the, uh, you know the patterns, so you can apply it and really then use it in, in, in the digital way. Thanks for sharing. Hi, uh, thanks for showing us this. Um, what's been the response from the business side? Have they sort of like deluge you with different use cases? Where are you gonna go next with this? So I'm responsible for business side, but I'm just a serviceman from our partners from uh, uh, product parts of our company, for example, loans, mortgages, and uh, they have their plans and I help them to, to reach their plans. So if they taken this, taken it on board and now coming back with different ideas and how else they want to utilize it? Uh, for idea, I'm fully responsible with my team from digital data and uh, cooperating with a small team uh, in CRM and it was my former team it's it's easy and and there is a big discussion with uh, security and compliance and etc 
Good luck with that one. <laughs> Any more questions? All right. Just one thing. Uh, thank you for the talk. Uh, it was nice uh, after the party. Uh, you were uh, talking about uh, TF, uh, IDF, uh, and, uh, uh, working with the wo world uh, in uh, URL. Uh, are you uh, downloading uh, the web pages and looking to the content of the web page or only you are working with the URL? Okay, uh, very interesting question. Uh, yeah, in this POC we use only the URLs. and But uh, the next step I think that we are currently working on is yeah, really scraping the parexes or the articles, and then it's uh, then make sense not only the TFIDF, but you then have the article, the context, and then you can you can use the word embeddings and really catch these word representation much better. But you know, 50% improvement is okay. So next time. But it's not only about keywords in in URLs or in in articles. It's. Uh, about uh, changing on behavior because if you like football and you are on a website with uh, with sports every day and uh, surprisingly you're starting to visit uh, the website with cars maybe something changed in your head and there is a trigger between passive and active stage that's that's why important thank you guys there's one yeah Thank you. Um, how quickly are you able to react to the insights that you're generating right now? Do you mean end to end? Yeah. Yeah, it depends because uh, it's uh, it's in bulk. We have uh, maybe one day to uh, push it to CRM. Uh, and there is the real time uh, pushing to our call centers. I think uh, they have to call at mortgages uh, in uh, ten minutes. I guess, but we are not sure if it is like that because uh, their priori priority it's uh, all sales signals and we are pilot just pilot between there so we have to check yeah. it and we are working on that right now. Yeah. That's pretty interesting thing that uh, first of all in the digital uh, world you can use it um, like now so it's it's no problem there uh, we are yeah uh, using the API of the ad form and so on so it's okay. But here, uh, th that's the interesting thing about the mortgages and the loans, because yeah, we, we, we made the pilots on mortgages and it went well, it's, it's okay. But then we made uh, another pilot or just reuse these models and uh, yeah, for, for the loans. And then, yeah, we made some improvement, but not that big one. So, and it was like, you know, mortgages, it's uh, more like a long-term thing. When you are going through the internet, you search, you don't buy a house like in a minute. But uh, when you, you when you need loan, then it's really it can be a matter of I don't know but uh, seconds, hours, days maximum. So that's the uh, effectivity of the of the CRM. Yeah. It's how long do you do uh, thinking about new flat or new house? It's mainly one year, half year, three months. But uh, if uh, if your car uh, have a problem with engine, you need to repair it right now. It's our customer's problem. It's better to tracking for us uh, mortgages. It's, it's easy. And uh, we are talking about uh, low ones because it's faster. And we have to be faster as well with the data and uh, pushing them to the cell signals and situations in our CRM. So I've got another question as well, if that's okay. Um, uh, has um, any uh, insights come out from the customer pathways um, that you've now maybe redesigned your um, sales process or how you think about um, identifying customer need? Yeah, we have typically we have a lot uh, uh, of insights uh, from our uh, business partners and from our customers uh, from. Uh, typical uh, research we have, and we have uh, 
pretty big uh, uh, research team, one of the biggest in Czech Republic, so we are uh, fine prepared. But uh, the data from digital, it's new site, yeah, completely new site, and we have to uh, work um, much better with uh, with customer journeys because now customer journey is in the hands of product managers and it's so not easy to talk about customers inside with product manager. 